Top 10 outlandish science experiments performed on animals you will never guess what the number one experiment is. Like and subscribe for weekly videos. In the comments below, list one topic you think should be in a top 10 video and comment if you subscribe to this channel. Researchers can be an unusual bundle of individuals, particularly with regards to creatures. Since forever researchers have played out all way of abnormal and superb trials on creatures, some of which have delivered shockingly valuable outcomes. For instance, giving an automated arm to a monkey could reform the prosthetic appendage. Vibrating night crawlers on an amplifier may give the motivation to another type of neurotechnology. Furthermore, taking care of helium to a croc and putting a fake tail on a chicken have both improved our comprehension of the dinosaurs. At different occasions, researchers have chosen to perform absurd accomplishments with no genuine reason like taking care of LSD to a creepy crawly or gulping a vixen. In any case here are 10 of the most ridiculous, hair brain tries ever performed on creatures. 10 The scientists who ate a shrew researchers have played out some pretty nauseating examinations throughout the long term, however one of the most horrible is the one who ate a wench. In 1994, two in number tolerated researchers chose to discover what might occurred on the off chance that one of them galped, processed and discharged a northern short followed shrew. New York anthropologists Brian D. Crandall and Peter W. Stahl took incredible consideration to set up the vixen for utilization. As indicated by their report, human digestive effects on a micromammalian skeleton, the pair started by cleaning and eviscerating the vixen. It was at that point, in their words, softly bubbled before one of the two researchers, they don't uncover which one, gulped the cadaver without chewing dot but their test didn't stop there. The pet chose to investigate what survived from the wench whenever it had been processed and discharged. In any case, regardless of an outstandingly intensive investigation, not all if the wench's bones made it out of the opposite end. Among the missing body parts were one significant jawbone, four molar teeth, a great part of the leg and foot, everything except one of the 31 vertebrae, and a lot of the wench's skull. Given that the cadaver was gulped down, without taking a nibble, the researchers were flabbergasted by what they found. Any harm, they clarify in their report, happened as the remaining parts were prepared inside. Rumination without a doubt harms bone, yet the impacts of this cycle are maybe rehashed in the acidic, beating climate of the stomach. 9. Playing hide and seek with rats Rodents are regularly observed as foul, terrible animals, yet it ends up they have an adolescent side as well. The running rodents are said to adore a round of find the stowaway, regularly laughing with amuse when they are discovered. In 2019, a group of neuroscientists at Humboldt University in Berlin concocted an approach to play find the stowaway with male young adult rodents. The scientists set up a little den brimming with boxes and sanctuaries to hole up behind. The rodents immediately figured out how to play the game, and started to create procedures to all the more likely dodge and find their human opponents. During their preparation, the rodents were not remunerated with food or water, rather they were tickled and given positive actual contact. Be that as it may, they appeared to appreciate something beyond the prize. The specialists except the rodents would play find the stowaway for its sheer fun. At the point when they were gotten, the rodents would frequently let out ultrasonic laughs and bounce for euphoria, at that point hasten off to an alternate concealing place. This may seem like a senseless test, however researchers have discovered that play conduct is imperative for psychological turn of events. 8. Magnetized cockroaches At the point when you consider magnets, cockroaches are likely not the primary things that ring a bell. In any case, in all honesty, the solid bugs have various odd attractive properties. Cockroaches, similar to winged creatures, explore by detecting the Earth's attractive field, and a few researchers accept they could help improve the plan of attractive senses. In request to find out additional, specialists at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore set a gathering of American cockroaches inside an attractive field. The little animals got charged in close to no time. Yet, the impact was not lasting. Outside the field, their attraction blurred away and the cockroaches got back to their typical, non-charged selves. But the researchers saw something unordinary. They found that the time taken for the cockroaches' attraction to rot changed by as much as 50 minutes to 50 hours. Also, everything relied upon whether the cockroaches were alive or dead. The researchers presumed that this weird impact was brought about by the various viscosities of living and dead cockroaches. Fundamentally dead cockroaches take more time to demagnetize in light of the fact that they are a lot stickier than live ones. There are really little attractive particles settled inside the groups of cockroaches. Regularly these particles are dissipated about and looking in changed ways. However, when an attractive field is applied they start to arrange. At that point, when the field is taken out, 
their revisitation of their arbitrary direction. This cycle is genuinely brisk in live cockroaches, around 50 minutes, on the grounds that the attractive particles are housed in a gloopy liquid, so they can move about effortlessly. However, when the creepy crawlies kick the bucket, the liquid solidifies up, which is the reason the particles can assume control more than two days to revisitation of their unique orientation. So, what are these attractive particles and where they originated from? Tragically researchers are still unaware. Yet, this unusual trial has demonstrated there is considerably more to cockroaches than meets the eye. 7 Alligators on Helium What happens when a croc breathes in helium? Odd inquiry, yet a group of exploratory scholars accept the appropriate response has helped them better see how the snapping reptiles communicate. As I am certain you are on the whole mindful, when people breathe in helium our voices become noisy. The explanation behind this is basic, helium gas is lighter than air, which means sound waves accelerate as they travel through it. This makes the helium particles vibrate at frequencies a lot higher than air which is the thing that makes your voice sound like Donald Duck. Although it appears to be an oddity party stunt, this idea becomes unmistakably more valuable when applied to gators. Crocs are known to make uproarious howling commotions to stamp their region and draw in accomplices during mating season. In any case, as of not long ago researchers have been uninformed about how these roars are produced. To find out additional, specialists from the University of Vienna put a little Chinese crocodile in a hermetically sealed tank, at that point filled the tank with heliox a sheltered blend of helium and oxygen. The croc really sounded further in the heliox tank, yet later investigation affirmed that the recurrence of her howls had, indeed, expanded. This recommends that crocs speak with one another like fowls and people by causing the air in their vocal parcels to resound. Also, by augmentation, maybe dinosaurs imparted that way as well. Six songbirds on drugs sing freeform jazz from Jimi Hendrix to Snoop Dogg, all number of artists have performed affected by drugs. However, Shouldn't something be said about flying creatures? Presently, on account of scholars at the University of Wisconsin, Madison, European starlings have been heard singing freestyle jazz while on opiates. In a recent report, a gathering of starlings were given a little portion of fentanyl. Fentanyl is a clinical painkiller that, similar to morphine, actuates sentiments of rapture. The researchers were interested to learn if the tranquilized upwinged animals would suddenly start singing only for entertainment purposes. Furthermore, they did. Not long after the starlings had taken fentanyl, they started to sing a sort of freestyle jazz, scatting ceaselessly on narcotics like Charlie Parker. Research recommends that rushes of starlings frequently sing together out of delight of being among different winged creatures. It is felt that the flying creatures continue singing alone to attempt to replicate that social delight. It's proof that a positive state is prompted by the presence of group mates, which animates melody, lead creator Lauren Wright has disclosed to the Times, and that winged creatures keep on delivering gregarious tunes since it is fulfilling. 5 Vibrating Live Earthworms In 2020, two Melbourne-based researchers stood out as truly newsworthy in the wake of utilizing an amplifier to vibrate night crawlers, research they guarantee could hold essentialness for neurotechnology. This apparently strange examination is in reality significantly more logical than it initially shows up. The analysts started by quieting night crawlers with liquor. They at that point put them on an amplifier, turned up the volume, and looked as the worms wobbled. Utilizing a laser, they had the option to screen what impact the speaker had on the worms. The assortments of night crawlers are generally made of water. This implies that when they are shaken they act like beads of water and start to swell. In any case, the vibrations from the amplifier created a specific sort of wave known as a Faraday wave, named after the pioneer of electromagnetism Michael Faraday. While this probably won't sound momentous, the pair accepts their amazing exploration could be utilized to build up a safe, non-obtrusive strategy to associate the human cerebrum to a PC. Basically this bundle of inebriated worms wobbling on top of speaker may one day help produce a far less destructive variant of Elon Musk's Neuralink. Who knows what's in store? For chicken walks like a dinosaur contemplating dinosaurs is a troublesome organizations, given they have been wiped out for 65 million years. Considering old bones and fossils can indeed show you a limited amount of a lot, and researchers are continually watching out for better approaches to all the more likely comprehend the horrendous lizards. Then in 2014 a group of researchers in Chile had a brainwave, why not put an enclogger on a chicken's bum? Chickens, similar to all feathered creatures, are plunged from a gathering of dinosaurs known as the theropods, for example Velociraptor, T-Rex. Thus, by giving a chicken a counterfeit tail, 
The researchers accepted they could adjust its focal point of gravity and make it walk like a dinosaur. Remarkably the analysis worked. A short video created by the scientists unmistakably shows the chicken lurking around like a no-spending form of Jurassic Park. 3 Monkey with a Mind Control Robot Arm It seems like something out of a surrealist science fiction film, yet in 2008 researchers delivered film of a monkey controlling a mechanical arm with its cerebrum. Specialists from the University of Pittsburgh planned a profoundly refined psyche-controlled arm, at that point trained a macaque monkey to utilize it to take care of itself marshmallows. The monkey had the option to control the arm utilizing a serious cerebrum embed. Anodes must be embedded into the monkey's engine cortex to distinguish signals from the cerebrum, which the embed converted into orders for the arm. The designers had taken extraordinary consideration to make the arm's development as sensible as could reasonably be expected. The prosthetic appendage was given a unique shoulder, an elbow that loan curves one way and a hook-like hand dot following the astounding work of the Pittsburgh specialists, researchers have proceeded to manufacture comparative prosthetics appendages for people to help incapacitated individuals live freely. Two drugged spiders we void webs NASA has played out some unbelievable accomplishments throughout the long term, yet perhaps the most unusual second was the time they got insects high. In 1995, Analysts were intrigued to get familiar with the impacts of different medications on cobweb designs. Researchers at Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama took care of creepy crawlies different harmful substances, including weed, caffeine and amphetamine, at that point looked as they spun networks while tripping. Unsurprisingly the eight-legged creature presented to the most poisonous synthetic compounds deliver the most distorted networks. The one on Mary Jane wove most its web regardless, however lost interest around halfway. Interestingly, the amphetamine creepy crawly spun with an immense measure of excitement however was let somewhere near its absence of request, its web was loaded with expanding openings. Furthermore, the one on caffeine delivered something somewhere between a conventional web and a winding mandala. 1. The sex life of rats wearing different pants in the event that you need to be effective in sentiment you need to dress sharp. That isn't just valid for people yet rodents also. During the 1990s, Egyptian researcher Ahmed Shafiq led an examination dressing rodents in various types of genes and considering the consequences for their sex lives. In absolute, 75 rodents were made to wear pants throughout the span of a year. Before the finish of the trial, Shafiq found that those wearing cotton or fleece were critical bound to luck out, while the ones wearing polyester and polycotton mix regularly struck out so for what reason are the wool and gasp rodents such Casanovas contrasted with their polyester buddies? Shafiq accepted the polyester material made disturbing electrostatic fields around the private parts, which drove a drop in sexual action. Anyway American comedian Mary Roach has an alternate hypothesis. Having seen a representation of a rodent wearing the jeans, she wrote in her 2008 book Bonk, I would state there's an equivalent chance that it's basically harder to get a date when you dress amusing.